What's up guys, Steve Reese here again for Does It Doom, where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, and sludge metal genres. So if that's your thing, please like this video, subscribe to this channel for more weekly doom content. In this video, we are gonna be breaking down High on Fire's 10,000 Years, one of my favorite High on Fire tunes, taken from the classic High on Fire record, The Art of Self-Defense. Uh, your guitar is going to have to be tuned to C standard, pretty typical for High on Fire. The song's played in the key of F minor. Positionally, for a standard tuned guitar, that's going to be the, where A would be located, but because we're tuned four semitones down, it's going to be in the key of F minor. So tune your shit up. I'm going to zoom in, do a quick demo, then we're going to break it down riff by riff. Check it. So as I mentioned in the introduction, your guitar is going to need to be tuned to C standard, and this song is in the key of F minor. It's going to utilize a lot of elements from the natural minor scale with that flat fifth mixed in, meaning that it's going to be predominantly in the minor blues scale. Uh, it's going to have an appearance from uh, one or two other tones, but predominantly that's where we're, we're working for this one. So based on looking at very early live performances of the song, I believe the original recording just starts on this fourth string. 5th and 7th frets with a bunch of trills. And then he eventually holds it and lets it feed back. But in more recent live recordings, he does this pick tapping, where he'll take his pick, he's down on the first string, uh, the root note here and the flat 7th here. He's doing the 
does pick tap. Sort of progresses it up the neck. I've seen him do it where he just holds it at the fifth fret. I've seen him do it where he's pulling it off. I've even, even seen him do it up here. Just one octave lower. Does that pick scrape sort of classic? Just down the sixth string. This song's gonna be broken down into four main riffs. You've got the verse riff, the chorus riff, the bridge riff, and the solo slash outro riff. So the verse riff goes like this. So you can see it's basically the same riff played four times with four different endings. Um, basically the main part of the riff is First time through, you're going to play it, you're going to end with that. On the sixth string between the third and fifth frets. The second time, you're going to do this unison bend um, on the first string, fifth fret, and second string, eighth fret. Basically, bending that uh, note at the eighth fret up to the root note at the 10th fret. And then I think um, on the recording, he's probably going like that, but live I see him go an octave higher. Same two notes. And then before he transitions into the um, chorus riff, he's always usually up there, so. So you notice these notes are right at home in that minor blues scale there. The flat fifth coming in here. Now for the second riff, which is the chorus riff, we're going to be doing this. So 
So again, using very similar chords, all within that minor blues scale. These root major six dyads, uh, which we've seen in Aquarian, uh, in a very similar position, also in the key of F minor. Um, he is playing at the 8th and 7th frets uh, on the 2nd string and the 4th string. Uh, you're muting that 3rd string. So that's an appearance from the flat 2nd sliding to the root. So one last time here at speed. You'll notice all the sliding going on uh, and the vibrato, the heavy vibrato. that riff he only hit he hits the note once here at the 10th fret slides So the bridge riff here sort of plays off this uh, root perfect fourth open position. So most of the hammer-ons, most of the time you're hitting both of these strings open, hammering on the fourth string. Except for in the initial part here where it's going. So now for the final riff, uh, this happens before the solo and then after at the end of the solo to end the song. Uh, as the drums come back in, 
it goes like this. So this section of the song is playing off a lot of double stops and some interesting ideas. Uh, again, you're going to see the appearance of that uh, root major six dyad. So I'm playing off these cool dyads at the fifth, seventh, and eighth frets on the third and fourth strings. So one time here, very slow. One last time here at speed. That last part, I'm just running down the uh, minor pentatonic scale. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, as always, you know, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Let me know what you'd like to see me do next. I'm always taking requests. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram at does it doom at it dooms hashtag does it doom hashtag it dooms and I will repost your rigs and riffs until next time. Tony Iommi is your friend.